welcome to our Fit Little channel, a place where you'll find bite-sized workouts by Soul Sprite. I'm Kate, and today we are doing a resistance band workout. Um, I know that my sister has one of these from a physio appointment, and it's just gathering dust at home. And also Ben's friend has one, and lots of people that I go to their house, and I find one. I go, oh, I love these things, and I start stretching away, and they go, I've used it like five times doing physio exercises. So it is an amazing piece of equipment. Uh, you don't need a gym, you don't need weights, you need one of these if you are at home. Uh, and it's so good, you can stuff it in your bag, beautiful. Uh, we use it a lot in my bar class because dumbbells are a bit heavy and clunky, but we love these ones. Okay, so we're gonna have a nice workout today. It's gonna be Pilates-esque, but mainly um, just strength training. Okay, so let's get cracking. Um, let's warm up first, we're going to take it, um, this one's about four feet, usually they're meant to be about five feet, but this is a nice beginner one, the red one's sort of beginner to intermediate, so um, they come in different shades, so you just want to make sure that you're not overdoing it, uh, and make sure you get a beginner to intermediate one, unless you're super strong and then you can go with it, okay, we're just going to roll it across our hands a couple of times, go to the back, and to the front, just to widen out and open up that chest and work through your rotator cuffs. Make sure you zip up your abs from here. Tighten your core, make sure those supporting, synergizing muscles work in. And you wanna tuck your glutes in, activate them as well. Let's go side to side. I'm keeping it taut. And that's the trick resistance bands, we want to Make sure we're using it when it's stretching, of course. And hold on tight so they don't whiplash you, okay? Good. Let's just take our knees up like this. And we're gonna go down and up with our arms. Warming through the body, nice and easy. Four, three, two, take it up. We go down and push into a nice wide squat. I want you to push into your heels and push up through your glutes. Sit back into it, chest lifted. Nice, tummy's in. Good. How are you feeling today? I hope you feel good, but if you don't, we're gonna feel a lot better at the end, right? Five. Let's go a little bit lower. Five, four, three, two, one, and take it to the front. We're going to drop down and up. Just a nice forward bend. Make sure you try and keep your spine nice and long throughout the movement and your neck in line. Remember, your neck is your spine. So we want to make sure that stays in line with the rest of it. Beautiful. Last one, open and close. Nice and vigorously, let's make it strong. Excellent, five, four, three, don't you love the sound? Two, one. I'm thinking some rude thoughts there with that sound. Okay, come on, we're gonna come, come on Kate, let's go. Okay, so we're gonna take it down to the floor nice and slowly. I want you to have the band so it's under both of your hands. So let's go down. We're going to go down into all fours. Place your hands on top of the resistance bands. From here we're going to wrap it behind our right leg. Let's all start with our right. Hold on tight to these resistance bands. I like to just fold them over one and make sure I'm stamping my hands right on top, but you can just stamp them if that's more comfortable like this, grabbing hold. Okay, so our hands underneath your shoulders, make sure they're not crept too far forward, and take our knee out and in. For a nice glute workout, we'll push it out, extend that leg from the hip, making sure our right bum cheek is pushed down so we've got a nice parallel hip rather than twisting it up this way or lifting it too high. We want to make sure our abs are in on this one too and you'll start to feel those going. That's good. Keep going. Five, four, three, 
to hold it there. We're going up and down for that little dolphin kick, pushing it up and down. Woo! That felt good. You don't want that. That's okay. That happens. We're going up and down. That's because my shoes don't have any dip in them. Hopefully yours do. Get up and down. Five, four, three, two, one. Now from here, I want you to bring your knee back in. We're going to take our knee, our left knee, onto the resistance band. You ready? Houdini does it. Hand down into a nice stand. Grab hold of the top one with your right hand. Hold it firm across your hip. I'm doing well today. Look at that. Hold it onto your hip. And we're going up and down with our right leg. Usually so smooth with the resistance band. I'm usually laughing at everyone in my class. <laughs> and here am I, just letting go of that thing. Get up and down. Go, go, go. Nice. Ten, nine, eight, seven, six, five. Shoulders down, tummy in. Three, two, hold it there. Lift it up a little bit more. Lift it a little bit more. And that should be nice and maxed out. Take it down, we're going up and down. Just the arm. Make sure it's nice and straight and then we're not doing this, or this, or this. It's just a straight arm to the side as if you're spreading your wings like a bird. Good, five, four, three, two, one, from here, hold it to the hip again. We're going to take our leg to the front. So we're going right over and back. Imagine you've got a nice low stool. Three, four, five. Kick it to the front. Can, can. Let's go. Six. Beautiful. Seven. Strong, strong, strong. Eight. Nine. Five more. Let's go. Five, four, three, two, one. Take it on the diagonal. We're going up and down. So notice my foot hasn't gone to the side. We're going to the diagonal now. Keep it up, keep it up, keep it up. Ten, nine, eight, seven. It's getting hard. Six, five. Four, three, two, one. Beautiful. Slam it onto that hip. We're coming up and down just in that diagonal. That's it. It should be this muscle here that's really working as well as the top. To the front, little taps. Ten, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four. Smile. Three, two, one. One smile until you make it. Fight until we make it. Okay, we're going to the other side. So, putting your hands underneath. Make sure you take your left foot this time into the resistance band. Good, and we're going to make sure our knee, right knee is over to the outside of it, okay? Let's go down and, and bend. Flex and extend. Good, try and push your heel away. Tuck the tummy in, roll your rhomboids back. Tuck the tummy under. Good, 10 seconds to go. Nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one, cross my heart, hope to die up and down, little dolphin kick, cross my heart and pray, I mean, up and down, go, 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 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1, excellent, we take our right knee on top, have a little tail of in there, okay? I'm gonna face this way so you can see. And we're gonna take our left foot out. Nice little hold on your hip. Make sure you grab that resistance band hard. And we're going up and down. 
it'll be harder on the second side. And it's not particularly because you're weaker, it's because we've already used the side in the previous sets. So it's getting to be tired and that muscle's fatiguing. That's all good. Just keep it going. 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, and 1. We're coming up and down. That's it. You can go on your fingers for this one if it feels like you're contracting into your slumping into your shoulder. You want to try and keep a nice upright position. Keep going. <laughs> We're not perfectionists here, can you tell? Up and down. Good. Okay. Hold it into your hip. Lift it up. Forward and back. Come on, knee. Hold that resistance there. <laughs> I'm sort of in a bad place. Good. Forward and back. Keep it lifted as if you're holding it above a barbed wire fence or electric fence. If you lived on the farm when you were young like me. We've got no blade of glass, grass to test that one. So we're not going to test it. We're going to keep that leg up. Go, go, go. Five. Four. Three. Ah, two. One. Take it to the corner. Up and down. Woo. Nice, same again, go on the tips of your fingers if you need to. Hold it to the hip, up and down, last set. I'm going to make it a little bit faster. Try not to touch the floor on this one if you can. If you need a little rest in between, that's fine too. Two, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, oh baby, three, two, one and finish that off well done who knew a piece of red licorice could be so nasty right okay here we go we're going to go into the next movement which is going to be our upper body we're going to stand back up so grab a drink if you need to and we're standing right back up into it nice work have a little forward bend if you need to and shake out those hips nice work okay we're going to take a little tail on the outside, roll it a couple of times so you're nice and close. Take one behind your head and the other one here, strap it into your cervical spine and that big knot there, we're coming up and down. Using that tricep, now if it's too easy, roll it one more time and give it hell, come on, up and down. Three, four, five, oh, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen. Let's go up to twenty, eighty, nineteen, twenty. Hold it there above your head. Take it down into a sumo squat. I love these ones. Put it on top of your head and do it once and we're coming over. That's it. Squeeze it and lower it down. Come on. Let's see if we can touch the outside of the ankle without our knee caving in. Nice oblique crunch here. Hold it for the pulse. Five, four, three, two, one. Roll around to the other side. Right hand on, up and down. Remember, if you want the challenge, roll it one more time. Keep that elbow bending and straightening. But you want to keep that arm as straight, as still as possible. Only the hinge bit. Three, two, one. Okay, take it above. I want you to go lower. 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 Okay, over. Three, 
Good. Go. We're going to reach lower. Make sure you're trying to keep your knees back, but drive your butt down to the floor. Pulse it out. Woo. Nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Last exercise. Don't give up. We've got one more exercise. We're going down to the floor. Make sure it's shoulder width, okay? Shoulder width. Good job. Here we go. Into plank. Good. And out, up. Woo! Option here is just to keep it where it is here. And then up. We're just turning to one side. Higher elite option in. Out. Last one. Other way. Go. No, no. Uh. Four. Three. Two. One. Breathe. Nice work. Good. Come back into your child's pose. Let those arms out. Uncoil that tension. Let it just relax. Pull here down if you want to. If you don't have thousands of sweat coming off you. Well done. It was short, short sweet, and nasty, which is sometimes such a goodie. Well done. If you want to do some beautiful stretches with this, I'm going to quickly mark them. We're not going to have time to go through them, but having a resistance burn to pull back and work through the back of the legs, the posterior movements and the tension on the posterior area. You can pull it down like this. It's nice to pull it to the side and swap arms and you can pull it to the other side. Bent is better, straight is more advanced. You can also use it in this pike stretch to work through bent legs. You're working the back a little bit. Straight legs, you can pull this back, this area. There's so much you can do with it. You can wrap it around and do these sort of things too, where you're coming around. I know this is a nice yoga move. And you can grab your resistance band and let it aid you a little bit at the back like that until you can get a grip on it. And also what we did at the start, sort of moving back this way is a nice stretch and opener as well. I'm so proud of you guys. There's a lot of you that are commenting that are saying you're doing this most days and we our heart lifts with joy because we know that you must be feeling so great for it and we're so grateful for you to be supporting us if you're not already please subscribe to the channel share it with your friends and family we are providing this for free to anyone that needs it during our lockdown times love to you all take care see you next workout